Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Pamiria back with another Dokkan battle video. So, for anybody that wasn't aware, the current celebration we're on for Global was actually a two-parter on the JP side of the game with an all-new summonable LR released for part two. And as far as I'm aware right now, there's no reason for us to believe that it won't be the exact same deal when it comes to Global. So, in this video, I want to give you guys a little preview of all the things that us global players can expect to get once the second part of the current celebration officially begins. So without further ado guys, let's take a look. As you can see, that's the art here for part 2 of the JP celebration with the Namekians in the back since it is a Namek themed celebration. And the first thing we have is a, a login bonus which I'm sure global will get as well, pretty standard right there. And the second thing is definitely the highlight of part two, and it's a new legendary summon banner for a brand new STR LR full power Frieza. And we'll take a look at him in just a second, but first, let's finish out this celebration. So uh, after that, we have a few Dokkan events, the uh, full power Frieza, uh, transforming Goku, and transforming Frieza. And I believe all it says is that these three will be available every single day during the celebration. And then after that is something pretty freaking exciting if Global gets it as well, and that's the return of the uh, weekend ticket banner along with the missions to get the tickets. And I believe we also got some for just logging in every day during the week. And then on the weekend, the banner will be available. And there were also some LRs on the banner too that you could potentially pull. So overall, this is just an awesome, awesome thing. And I sincerely hope, fingers crossed, that it comes back to Global as well for part two because yeah, it's awesome. Okay, and then after that is just the reissue or re-release or uh, return, I guess, of a few story events. The Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2, the Little Rangers, and also the farmable tech Bulma. And that's pretty much it. That was all that JP got for part 2. And it looks like everything for part 1 of the celebration on JP was exactly the same as the current celebration on Global. So like I said guys, I have every reason to believe that Global will also be getting a part 2 along with the new uh, LR Frieza here and all the other events. And obviously, this is not the most exciting celebration we've ever received. It's actually quite far from it, but uh, it's still cool to know that we're most likely getting a part two. And before we go, why don't we take a quick look at the new LR Frieza so that you guys can decide for yourselves whether or not he's worth summoning for, all right? So his name is Survival Risking Final Attack, Full Power Frieza. Leader skill is full power category, keep plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 130%, or extreme STR types, keep plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 100%. His super attacks are Death Saucer for the 12 key and Nova Strike for the 18 key. The 12 key causes mega colossal damage while sacrificing 8% HP, which on the surface might seem really bad, but if you think about it, there's some teams where you have a lot of units that need to be below a certain percentage of HP to get a transformation or to use their active skills. So in that case, it might not be so bad. And then the uh, 18 key greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. And his passive is called Amplified Rage. So he starts out with key plus two, an attack and defense plus 80%, then he gets an additional key plus one, an attack plus 10% when HP is 90% or below, additional key plus two, an attack plus 20% when HP is 70% or below, and an additional key plus two, an attack plus 20% when HP is 50% or below, plus an additional key plus two, an attack plus 20%, and performs a critical hit when HP is 30% or below. So all of these buffs here are actually cumulative, which means that when you're below 30% HP, you're looking at a total boost of P plus 9, attack plus 150%, and defense plus 80%. So at that point, he's going to be very, very strong since he also gets the guaranteed criticals when below 30% HP. And the way he essentially works is that he starts off at his weakest when you're at full HP, and then he'll get stronger and stronger as you get closer and closer to dying. And his links are Prodigies, Universe's Most Malevolent, Strongest in Space, uh, Big Bad Bosses over in a Flash, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And his categories are Planet and Namek Saga, Full Power, Transformation Boost, and Wicked Bloodline. And overall, guys, I would say that this LR is quite good, um, but he's far from the best LR out there, and he's also far from a must-have, in my opinion. Obviously, it varies from person to person. I know there are some huge Frieza fans out there 
that just need to have this card and I understand it was the same way for me with the androids man I felt like a lot of people were not super hyped about the LR androids but the people that were hyped for them were really really hyped like me who loves androids and also especially loves android 18 right so uh yeah i mean i understand if you guys really really want this card but at the same time i, I just want to be honest i don't think he's um worth spending that many stones to go for if you guys want to try to summon on the banner maybe do like two to three multis 100 stones 150 stones and just call it a day that's my advice but once again, it's up to you, and why don't we actually take a quick look at the banner on JP since it's most likely going to be the exact same banner when it comes to global. So this was the, the art, which will probably change, but aside from that, it should be the same banner. So we have the uh, full power Frieza here, we also have a bunch of other Friezas and Gokus, and I gotta say, as far as you know, non Dokkan FS units go that are featured, like these are all really good. This guy's amazing, he's amazing, he's pretty good too. Uh, this guy is amazing for uh, Legendary Goku events and Infinite Dragon Ball history. And uh, I don't really use him, but I think he's okay as well. Um, he's not great right now, but he's really good. So like I said, a lot of these feature units are quite good. Uh, he's one of the best tanks in the game. But at the same time, it's still a Legendary Summon banner, which means that there's a good chance that you don't pull the featured LR you want. And there's also the chance you can pull other LRs, but I wouldn't count on it necessarily either. Um, so yeah, my advice is honestly to either do two or three multis and just call it a, call it a day if you have to. But more so, if you can, just skip this banner because we have so many other great things coming to Global soon, like LR Kale and Khalifla, uh, Trunks and Zamasu. Um, the physical Piccolo is really good. I mean, he himself, I don't think it's super exciting. He's like, I want him, I want him, but he's not super hype. But his banner was very, very good. So that's a very good banner um, as far as value goes to spend your stones on. And for most people, I would say probably skip this one. If you really, really want Frieza, do two to three multis, but don't go to him because the, the value of this banner compared to some other ones that are on the way is definitely uh, not awesome. So. That's pretty much gonna do it for the video, guys. Part two is coming within the next week or so, and um, LR full power freeze that should be coming, but I do recommend the skip, but that's just me. I personally will probably still do a little bit of summoning, like maybe one video with like 200 stones just for the channel, but if it wasn't for the channel, I might skip this banner completely too, so. Just keep that in mind. And that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little preview or update for what's coming to Global. And as always, if you guys liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. That's all I got to say. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.